Hi everybody, this is Kirk Gartner for VFXHaiku.com and today I am very proud to uh, present to you guys my first feature length tutorial. And this is on advanced multipass compositing with uh, Cinema 4D and Fusion 5. Now I had just a ton of response to my original uh, multipass uh, compositing tutorial, just the introduction. And so I figured I should do something a little bit more in depth. And that's exactly what this tutorial is. So what I've done is I've actually created uh, about an hour and a half worth of content on just multipass compositing and how to get your stuff out of Cinema 4D and into your into Fusion to, to comp it. So um, I just want to show you guys what exactly you're getting in this tutorial. So you're getting a ton of content and it's only 19 bucks. So here, let's just take a look. So what am I getting for my $19? Well, let's just go through and take a look here. We're going and looking at a whole bunch of different applications here. We're looking at Cinema 4D. We're briefly touching on After Effects. And then we spend the bulk of our time inside of Fusion. We spend uh, almost an hour inside of Fusion. And then we do a, final, a few final, uh, final little touch-ups inside of Photoshop. So inside of each of these applications, uh, we cover a whole bunch of different things. Inside of Cinema 4D, we touch on working with 32-bit float uh, texture maps, um, that we go over an overview of the ambient occlusion and global illumination settings. Uh, we take a look at the Fresno falloff shader because it has to do with reflections. Uh, we take a look at blurry reflections and how to, uh, how to optimize them and work with them properly. Um, we also look at uh, Z-Depth passes and how you set up a proper Z-Depth pass inside of Cinema 4D in order to do your blurring um, in your compositing program. Uh, we also take a look at different bit depths and uh, what bit depths you should be rendering your, your renders at, uh, depending on what your compositing needs are. And we also look at uh, alpha channels, and there's, a, there's straight and post-multiplied alpha channels, and we sort of take a look at the difference between both of those and uh, what works uh, in what situations and what doesn't. So once we're finished in there, we jump into Fusion 5 and we go over a really quick uh, intro to compositing just to get the bare basics down. Um, once we get that, we dump, jump right into like deep pixel information. And so we start to look at things like normal passes and, um, and uh, uh, UV passes. So we, we really talk about retexturing with UVs in quite a bit more depth. Uh, we talk about relighting your objects and uh, with normal passes. Uh, we go into color curves and we sort of talk about that for a little while. Um, we talk about using um, different passes as masks and ways uh, to use passes um, to just to sort of tweak uh, certain effects a little bit. Uh, we also spend a lot of time talking about um, using Z-Depth passes in 2D um, to generate your depth of field rather than rendering that in, uh, inside of 3D. Spend a lot of time talking about the soft glow tool because that's one of my, my personal favorites. Um, I use it in pretty much every comp that I create. Um, it's really good for generating uh, just like atmospheric effects uh, in, in your comp. Um, I talk about color correction uh, quite a bit in depth there because we do a lot of color correction in this tutorial. Um, we look at the highlight tool and how we use that to generate some uh, anamorphic looking lens flares. We talk about chromatic aberrations, uh, we talk about um, adding realistic grain and using uh, passes in unexpected ways and uh, seeing what you can get out of it. So we also jump into Photoshop really quickly and we talk about dealing with gamma shifts between uh, different applications and we talk about using actions and, uh, and uh, different looks to sort of finesse your image and just tweak it out a little bit. So that's pretty much it. Um, you get all that, and we also give you the um, the all the working files. So you get to the Photoshop file with all the layers. You get the original Fusion comp. You get the Cinema 4D file, and you get all the renders that I did a really high quality uh, 1920 by 1080 version of uh, all the all the passes. That, so you can take those and you can play with them in After Effects or Photoshop or in Fusion, whatever you want to do with it, and create your own image and create your own version of it. Um, if you guys create anything cool with this, please. Please uh, post it in the comments or post a link to it somewhere because I'd love to see what you guys are, are able to do with this. So I'm once again really, really happy to present this to you guys. I hope you enjoy it. And please, uh, if, you, if you do love it, <laughs> send me an email so I know to keep making more of these. Uh, thank you very much and I'll, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.